welcome back to my channel. I have a haul for you today, and this is from the week's worth of thrifting. I went to Goodwill on Wednesday, two different Goodwills, and then I went to a little nonprofit um, church thrift store on Thursday, and then today I went up to the New Richmond Flea Market and bought a couple of things. So I kind of went out of my wheelhouse this time on um, purchasing stuff. So we'll kind of talk about it. I did look up comps on it. I don't often do that when I'm in the stores, but I did on a couple items at the flea market. Um, one of the first things, I just got this little cloth out because this necklace I bought a while ago and it's listed on eBay but someone wanted to see the beads against a white background, so I was out taking some pictures of it. But it's got those irregular, bumpy, kind of Murano beads. They have a venturine and white in them. But this necklace is listed on eBay, so I did a few more photos for that inquiring person. So the first thing that I got is way out of my wheelhouse. And this was up at the flea market this morning. It's a Hamilton Beach, super mixette and it's in the 70s gold i paid two dollars for it as you can see um i did comp this i walked by it a couple times and then i decided to look it up because i didn't find anything really great today up there i was a little bit late and then i got talking to some friend of mine that i saw up there and um didn't wasn't on the stick but this is a pretty cool mixer. It works. I tested it. I'm going to have to clean um, some of this out with a brush. I did. The, I cleaned it. Just wiped it down already. But this, I think, had comps anywhere from $20 to $30. So um, don't pass up these. You might want to check them out if they look kind of cool. This one looks sort of like futuristic. I don't know if it's 60s or 70s, but we'll see what happens with that. I'm going to miss that shortly. Um, this was a Goodwill find on Wednesday when it's senior day. This is a piece of Czechoslovakian glass. I believe the color is flashed on, but it was very pretty and it was only $3 plus your 25% discount. So I thought I would rescue this and um, see what it does. I can't remember what the prices were when I looked it up. I just took a screen capture and search that way it is flashed on it's not etched um, it's not cut to clear but it is pretty with the little bird and the bow <clears throat> here's another goodwill find i've sold this before it's a waterford clock and the waterford um, mark is here so you can i don't know if you can see that there you go but just a little battery clock. I'll pull this out and see if um, I've got a battery that goes in it. Again, it's just these little disc batteries that you can buy at the drugstore. Um, but I have sold this before. I don't remember what I sold it for, but I know it was probably at least $20. So um, that was kind of a good find that day on Wednesday. Um, let's see. Oh, today's flea market. I just bought a couple of stained glass pieces. Um, a couple of hummingbirds. And this guy's got his beak um, missing. But this one is cute for 50 cents. So I'll probably sell these together. That one was 75. But, you know, try to get 10, 9 or $10 for these. They're kind of cute. I may give this one to my sister yet. She gave me a really cool solar um, solar hummingbird kind of a musical, I don't know, just, what do you call it? Wing chime, thank you. <laughs> um, this I purchased because I often buy these older religious pieces. I'm not sure, I think it was 50 cents, I guess I took, or 75 cents. It says, Hill Country Art Fest Handmade by something and I can't really read that. I'm going to have to get a um, magnifying glass. But it's very cool and I do pretty well with some of these clay or 
wood carved crucifixes. So I purchased that. On the way up, I stopped at a garage sale and got these two cuties. <clears throat> They're just some vintage, probably 60s or 70s, winking owls. This one has the cork in it. If anybody has ideas on how to get that cork out, put them in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Um, oops, it's stuck in there. Yeah, it could... Anyway, I thought those were cute and I paid a dollar for them. She was another reseller. This was in Borden, Wisconsin. And she said, I think she said her name was GA Arch 47 on eBay. I was gonna look her up, but I haven't had a chance yet. Um, these I purchased because I purchased this other, this vase that's very similar, but I thought these had kind of a coconut tiki look to them. And these I believe were at the Goodwill for a couple, a dollar ninety-nine or something in a bag. So I just thought they were neat. I can't find any comps, but they definitely are little shot glasses and would be cute in someone's tiki bar. They're kind of in a coconut pattern. But I just purchased this at a sale not too long ago, this vase. And I liked it, and I had this 70s belt that I got in that jewelry jar right there. I don't know, I'm not sure what's in there, but I'm gonna do another haul with that. But I really like this sort of, um, kind of a tiki. I think it might be just a studio pottery thing. Um, but I liked it. I got it on a Scirocco or Sirocco wood trivet. I like the the belt around it. My sister really wanted this belt to wear. She's very small and tiny and it would have fit her. Um, but I told her I was going to style it with my base. So um, just kind of a reminiscent of the same kind of tiki style. I'm not sure what these this pattern is called either. It's not really the pagoda pattern that you see like on that stuff. Right there, that centerpiece. That's pagoda pattern in Sirocco wood. A couple of fairy lamps. I'll talk about these in a little bit too. That one was my, well, let's see, that one over there was my mom's. And this one I bought recently at a thrift store. It's by my probably here. $10.99 minus 25% off. And it is a Rebecca Minkoff leather purse. Very nicely made. Um, and styled. It has the fringes and the um, little place for your pen and your whatever. It's got the studs on the bottom. Very nice leather handle. Um, I'm hoping to get maybe 35 or 40 for that purse. I kind of thought about keeping it, but as you know, you can't keep everything. Then I, here's another out of my wheelhouse buy. This was at the Goodwill. It was $6.99 minus um, 25%. It's Herda and it's a thermal quilted overall for like a Greyhound or they actually say which um, which types of dogs it will fit. But short haired dogs. I have a little rat terrier with short hair. He's down here. There he is. Say hi Scooter. He can't hear anymore. He's so old. He's like 18. So he has a little winter coat. But this had co comparables of $70. So um, color is river, the size is 50L, and 50L is for Whippet, Hungarian Greyhound, Slohi, and Feral Hound. So I will put this on eBay. I'm gonna try to get rid of it quickly. Um, the one sold for 70, so I don't know. Maybe I'll put 59 on it. But again, another thing that's out of my wheelhouse like the appliance. Um, here's another out of the wheelhouse buy. This is um, BrinkNordic.com and it's little Christmas ornaments that are just adorable. There's a little mounty and they've got this little Brink tag on them. I don't know what these go for. I didn't look them up yet, but I only paid like two bucks for them at Goodwill. So I will, um, I think they went, f I think they're like 25, but there's another one, a little double-decker bus and all these sort of European 
little icons. There was this was in it too. I don't think that goes with it. If you think this looks like Garfield, yeah, that can't go with it. But I'm gonna try that out. New ornaments in the box. Two ninety nine. Goodwill. <clears throat> Um, then on Thursday, oh, here's one more Goodwill find. Um, I've had this before, Michael Aram. It's contemporary metalwork, but it's very pretty. It's kind of a um, chrome vase. I suppose it's watertight, but it's just kind of a, looks almost mid-century. Um, but I will, I think this is about a $50 piece. Just looks like some contemporary thing, but I know I've had this this guy before, so and sold it. So that I think does it for the Goodwill. I did pretty good. I think I've got the flea market stuff and the Goodwill and the garage sale. So then I stopped at one of my favorite little thrift stores in kind of on the border between St. Paul and Minneapolis. Um, it's called um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. I forgot. That's terrible. It'll come to me. But I bought some of this ten blue Tanala pottery. They were a dollar each. They've got crazing. Um, this one is signed A-M-E-X. Very pretty. I have a large vase on eBay that hasn't sold. I have another covered sugar bowl that hasn't sold. I might just group them all. I know that's kind of a dangerous way to ship, but I could ship it in two packages. But I just couldn't leave them behind for a dollar each. I probably should have, but I just think they're gorgeous with the birds, like a quail or... <clears throat> and then on to that next purchases at that thrift store. Um, I bought this bolo tie for a dollar. It's got an um, old car on it. I just thought it was cute. I don't think it is on the right tie though, because these are brass and I don't think this is brass. This might be pewter. Um, I don't think there's any markings on it. But since we have old cars and my son has a BMW Z4, which sort of looks like this, like they call it the clown shoe car. I guess BMW is making another two seater that is the clown shoe as well. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, I thought maybe the boys would want it or, ooh, what's this? So, um, we'll see if they want it, otherwise I'll sell it. This I bought for myself. I have another piece of this. This is Japanese silver maple. This is like Asian enamel wear. There's no signature on it, at least. Um, paid two bucks for it. I just like the leaf. It kind of looks like cannabis, so I'm a cannabis fan. So I will um, maybe keep this, I don't know. But I did buy a silver leaf or gold leaf silver maple plate from the um, thrifting twins that I saw them thrift. And then I purchased it for Christmas. I was gonna give it to my sister and then I decided to keep it. So I'll, I'm gonna go get that and show it to you. It's um, embedded in lucite with bubbles. I just thought it's the greatest plate. I just keep it on the coffee table with my lip balm and some other stuff on there to grab the remote. Um, it looks really cute when you put cannabis chocolates or cookies that you make on it for Christmas. But So adding to my silver maple or whatever, or Japanese maple maybe it's called, I'm not sure. Um, then I bought this tin. The Grove Crest Rum and Brandy Fruitcake Tin. Very vintage, 50 cents. Just thought it was cute. My sister makes a really mean fruitcake. Very good, actually. So I, this may be something to go in her Christmas gifts. Because she likes these tins to give away to her friends with baked goods in them. She bakes a cannabis cookies too. I think I'm almost done here. Um, I did get two pairs of Levi's at the flea market that were my husband's size and they were selling all their clothes, buy one, get one, and they were, all their clothes are a dollar all the time. So you can't 
Blues with that. And then I bought a John Lennon um, Power to the People shirt and then a tie-dyed shirt. They're kind of sitting over here. I bought the tie-dyed one for myself to ride on my bike so I'm highly visible. No pun intended there. What else do we got? Let's see. I did get a bit of jewelry as I normally do. And probably the best find was at the, um, at the little thrift store on the border, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Oh, I wish I could remember the name of that. Tur no, not Treasures of the Heart. Anyway, this is an orb pin set. Orb is a sterling silver, whoops. A sterling silver mid-century company. I paid $10 for this, but I had a coupon for, excuse me, for $10 off. Um, strangely, these ones were 50 cents each. I don't know why they had these in the 50 cents, but they're the matching orb earrings. Um, then I got some Givenchy clip-ons, which I think are really cool. Sort of like these myself, but I have got way too much jewelry and I need to start selling. Um, this little bicycle is a Paul Harris pin from the 70s or 80s. It's not worth a whole lot, but maybe 10 bucks. <clears throat> and then here's some other jewelry. This is a Brighton lookalike. It's not Brighton, but it does have a leather band and it's got a cute little, I think it might have been like a perfume holder, like a solid perfume in there. I don't know what it's for. And then this, this was, these are from some other buys from a while back. Maybe three, four dollars. And I think that does it. Um, I am going to open this jewelry jar and go through that jewelry in another video. I haven't been making any videos, so I'm going to try to do that. Oh, here is the other piece that I found. These are Venetian. I never knew this, and my mom had a couple of these, but this was my mom's. And I used to have this in my bathroom. And then I just thought it wasn't a good spot for it because it could get broken. So um, I have it stuck away. And then I found this one, which is nicer. It has like different florals on it. But these are quite collectible. I don't know how you'd ship it. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Um, but man, it's cool. Yeah, oh, this is a sad tale. This piece is on eBay for like 1500 bucks. And my son's friend found it in a junkyard where he used to work in a car. So he gave it to Cole. And I was told Cole, let's sell it. So Cole said, okay. And then I freaking broke it. I dropped it and broke it. Isn't that horrible? I still haven't told Cole I'm gonna give him like a hundred bucks for it. But see, I glued it back together. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's just really sad. This piece was loose and I was fucking up, oh, excuse me, messing around with trying to fix it, you know, fix this piece, then I dropped it. Oh, just sickening. But anyway, you know how it goes. But it was a freebie find in a car, so. <laughs> At least we didn't shell out 300 bucks for it or something. So I will go through this stuff in the next video. This. All this Bakelite I've been hoarding and that jewelry jar from which this groovy 70s thing came out of. So um, that's my haul today. Here's my shirt, and my pants, Levi's for Tony. And then here's the Power to the People shirt. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. My son might want this, but I thought that was kinda cool. Well, anyway, thank you for watching and be sure and subscribe and like and comment and um, we'll see you next time.